Are you behaving yourself? Oh, but of course. And how are the kids? They're good. I actually mean that. Amanda, too. How's work? Work? Ah, it's fine. Better than fine. It's good. Had a few lucky breaks. Look after yourself, Mike. You too, Davey. You too. Ah, red truck, huh? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiflam. Yo, peace, brother, brother. Kiflam. Oh, Kiflam. really? Oh! Michael, or should I say Zolag? What? Your real name is Zolag. You are a king. You lived in a cloud city, but evil forces came and cast you out. Now you are trapped here, but soon you shall be free. Okay. I used to be called Marnie. Now I am Shupar, Queen of the Winds. <clears throat> Doubting is the pathway to believing for non-objectionable persons. The literature is very clear about that. Uh. Why is it whenever people talk about reincarnation, they're always a king or a general or a famous person? How come they're never a serf or a rock or a bug? Oh, it is easy to be a doubtful antithesis, but be a thesis, Solag! These are incredible truths. I used to be lost. Now I'm the most powerful person in existence. Last night, I went to 47,000 places at the same time. Okay, this is bullshit. Objectionable persons fall at any hurdle. Goodbye. Helping higher beings is the pathway to acquiring a higher existence. I'm sure it is. You're not. But you are on the way. Some of our true thesis holders, who also happen to be top of their field actors, philosophers, and humanitarians, require cars. Oh. Can you find it in your heart to be of service? The spirits shall email you their requirements. The spirits have email. Don't be an antithesis, Zolag. Kiflon. Kiflon.
answer to nothing because that is the answer to which there is no question. Hello, Zondar. Kiflam. Uh, or, uh, Kiflam. Marnie. Wait, I thought my name was Zolak. That's because everything you have ever thought is wrong, Zondar. Do you know top actor, philosopher, and environmental activist Jimmy Boston? What's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? Kiflam. Right. Yeah. Kiflam. <laughs> Welcome to the truth. Your thoughts are probably very confused. Chris is clear about this. Yeah, you're neither thesis nor antithesis. You're nothing, Zondar, nothing. I become a thesis, bro, in record time. So Chris said I could hunt for extraterrestrials out here using this incredible meter. This is science the authorities try to suppress. <laughs> well, Zondar, now you can meet your people. Oh. <laughs> Kiflam. 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 This area is a confirmed hotspot for extraterrestrial activity, bro. The device. Okay, come on then, little flashing box. Reveal the great truth to me. This is it. I am 110% unequivocally positive this is it. Then you understand, Zondar. I understand that this is fucking it. Good, then you know what it costs. Five grand. Ten. Whatever. Kiflam. And we are all immortal. Hello, Zondar. <gasps> are you ready? For what? It is today, and the tracks can be written. Wait, wait, wait. I can't believe that you got wrapped up in this bullshit. Uh, you seem like a nice girl. Objectionable antitheses are worse than idiots on a sinking ship. The literature makes that very clear. Yeah, well, does the literature make clear that you need help? I have help. I know the truth. If you want to know me, Agree to pay your dues and wear pale blue attire for the next 10 days. You should get the attire off the website. It's very reasonable, right? What? Are you even capable of listening, Zondar? Kiflum. Twenty-five grand? Jesus! I mean, crap! Fantastic!
hope everyone finished. Jimmy's never finished. He's like a black hole that only works on junk food. Ugh. Finished? What? I need, like, at least another couple minutes of digesting time. Brother Zondar, I knew you'd come. I was told to come. Chris needs you to take this plane to initiate Boston. He awaits you in the east. Okay. Detailed as ever. Truth must be revealed gradually until you're capable of understanding it. Eternal brother, brother, you get the secret plane from the secret location? Yeah, I'm in the top secret baby blue plane. Where am I heading? Unknow it, and you'll know. Look, can you just know it for me so we can move this thing along? Okay, but that's entry-level stuff, bro. Sandy Shores Airfield, I'll meet you there. Kiflom. Kiflom. Kiflon, bro. Kiflon. Got the money? Kiflon. Cool. In the plane? <laughs> Kiflon. Oh, nice. You're almost a thesis of truth, bro. You're nearly there. It's gonna cost a little time and effort, and then it's astro planes and 37,000 places all at once. <laughs> and the chicks. Oh! <laughs> you know, Chris and I sometimes watch porn together in the nude. Just to prove we don't get turned on by it. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, Kiflon, man. Laters. Kiflon. Oh! Chris says, if you're ready, here's a tree of truth. Now, he'll arrange a map, but it's kind of expensive to reach this level of existence. You'll need quite a bit of money. Someone to mail you, bro. Mind if I take the plane? Kiflon. Come on, you've discovered great things. 
beings. Kiflam, brother, father, you now know we're not alone. Yeah, and you've discovered the importance of higher beings, celebrities, like me, as people to worship and guide you to truth. Here, this is your medal for your achievements so far. Chris is very happy with you. Indeed I am happy, Zondar. You have achieved great things, but it is as a blink of the eye. Unless you achieve more, you shall not survive the apocalypse. Chris has spoken. Kifla. Kiflam, Zondar, you're nearly a true thesis. Your antithesis is almost quelled. Oh, I'm so great! I'm very reasonably priced, too. Mm. Ah, to quell my antithesis. It's easy. Just bring a small donation to Chris at the Epsilon Center in the city. But first, you must wear your medal and your attire and run five miles through the desert. Kiflam. Kiflam. Brother, father, son, Keflam. Who's this? The divine truth, Chris Formage. I fought many mythical beasts in that desert in my previous lives. You are very near to quelling your antithesis. I've been following your progress very closely. You have? I'm everywhere all at once. One more mile and you will have arrived at where you are. Make me proud, Zondar. Craft be praised. Kifla, Kifla. <sighs> Am I finished? No. Your journey is just beginning. Have you cast off the cane? Have you observed your inefficiencies? I guess so. Then they no longer exist. You are ready. Ready for what? To make another investment in yourself. Bring a generous tithe to the center in Vinewood, and I will personally receive you. praised. Welcome, Zondar. I'm so happy to see that you understand everything. Well, I know nothing, Chris, with no H. Well, then you know everything. Kiflam. Kiflam. The tract is being written. We're writing the tract together. Together. I'm writing the tract here. Do you have the cash? Yes. Yes, I do. Today, I was speaking with Carpetan in the Paradigm Four. And he said that we should deliver some of the Apocalypse funds to the Cayman Islands. Ah, Kiflam. Then you and I can write the tract. Kiflam. Zondar, tell me, have you reached my paradigm? Kiflam. Now, are you ready to write the tract? Kiflam. 
Just make sure to deliver this big bale of cash to my helicopter. Oh, and I'm sure you'll be pleased to know Kraft is very impressed with your progress. Ah. Kifla. Stay in convoy, Zondar. Chris is placing a lot of trust in you with this assignment. Kifla. Zildor, do you copy? What is your ETA? I'm coming in to land now. Ah, yes, brother. I see you. Excellent. How much money is in here, anyway? Why would that concern you? Any amount is insignificant when weighed against the value of absolute understanding. She is the worst! <laughs> Stay back. You're not ready to leave. Revoked, you son of a bitch! And you could consider this my refund. Don't you realize how powerful I am? I make or break Finewood careers. I will destroy you. Gotta go, brother, brother. Get them. You are unsavable. You will be the fertilizer of the 10th paradigm. <laughs> 